Okay, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, Rest Taco is this week. Franco, Annie. Uh, we are joined today by the black belt, Jesse James. Jess. Jess E. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have our daughter today. We Next have babysitter, so one. if you hear anything in the background, any <laughs> Blue's Clues playing, it's her. Awesome. I love Blue's Clues. Uh, we yeah. start off with the, the show with icebreak questions, just get to know you a little more. We used to have seven. We upped it up to nine. Ooh. So, Ooh. yeah. Uh, let's start off with a uh, favorite band. Uh, the Doors. The Doors. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. What's your favorite song by them? Uh, Riders on the Storm. I like Peace Frog. Uh, Space Caravan. There we go. I like the Spanish guitar. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. Weirdest thing you collect or something that you collect as of now? Uh, comic books, retro video games, Pokemon cards. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I still got the original 150. Oh, like the OG set? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm missing some here or there, but I still got a Charizard and a Blastoise and a Mew. Do, do you have the card graded at all? No, no. They're, they're all in a binder I've had since childhood, since like 1999. You should get that graded and see how much it's worth. I uh, should. Be one's worth a lot. Does it cost money to get graded? Uh, it does. There is a new um, shop here that we have. Yeah, there's a new shop here in town in Corpus, uh, Valiant Grading Advantage. Um, they're pretty cheap. I think like it's a for a two week turnaround, twenty nine bucks to get graded. That's not bad. Yeah, if I love here in Corpus, dude. We should. I'll bring my Pokemon cards and we should go. Hell yeah, we got uh, our Pikachu, Rainbow Pikachu graded the other day, and um, it made the value go up to like what two fifty? I think if, if we ever sell it, which we ain't, but. Yeah, it was a good card that we pulled though. Yeah, uh, let's see. Your favorite wrestler growing up, Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho Man, I think you're the second person that said that. I forgot who the first person was though. Well, uh, for a long time it was Hogan, but then when they did that angle with Hogan and Macho Man, we're at odds because of Miss Elizabeth. Even as a kid, I saw it as kind of messed up. I was like, looks like Hogan's trying to steal Macho Man's girl, so I, I started going for Macho Man. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. I uh, let's see. Ooh, favorite WrestleMania moment. Oh man. Uh Rock and Stone Cold. Like uh I think it was 2000 WrestleMania 2000 with the Limbistic song My Way. Um WrestleMania 17 I think. I believe so. Yeah, I you know that's the, the one that everybody loves the the promo. Yeah, dude, it just stuck with me and I was at that age or you know just stay. Yeah, I like the the promo. I like the WrestleMania 19 when um the Rock finally won. Oh yeah, yeah. They finally yeah. right. Finally Stone Cold, I think it was Stone Cold's last match. Mm-hmm. That was when Stone Cold was healed, right? Uh, no, the Rock was a heel. I think oh. it was a Hollywood, Hollywood Rock. That's right. But then I think they he turned face like in the match. You can't like not cheer for the Rock. Yeah, for real. Uh, your favorite quote you live by. Oh, man. Uh, Treat others the way you'd like to be treated, basically. I like that one. Okay. So this is a new one that we actually added on into this. Um, To you, what's the hardest part of the ring? Oh, the the apron, for sure. The apron. Okay. W ain't lying, huh? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Anytime someone takes an apron butt through an indie show, it's like, Props, you know. Uh, um, every time we hear see someone hit the apron, uh, me and my friends and uh, my wife as well um, would always like look at each other. I was like, "Oh, hardest part of the ring," because you know how Mike Cole, uh, Byron Sachs, and all of them beat it into everybody. That's mm-hmm. the hardest part of the ring. It really is. And, um, so we always like you know joke around every time we see that. And on uh, Saturday at uh, aftermath. <laughs> Uh, she was photography in ringside, and I was, you know, in the the crowd. And um, who was it? I forgot who took the bump. Oh, it's a, it was a, it was the exotic one. Exotic match. I think uh, Daniel Ryan or exotic. They hit the the apron, and um, she, she looked at me during it. But like, you know, she was 
on ringside, so she couldn't say out loud, but she just like gave me a look. I was like, "Where's?" <laughs> She's like, oh, I was, I was already, because I'm used to sitting next to him sometimes, so I was like, oh my god, and I turned around, and I was like, hard as, oh. He's not- <laughs> <laughs> the worst is when you're doing like a Royal Rumble match, and you go over the top rope, and you hit the, the apron, apron, and you're not like meaning to, just like a hard bump out of nowhere, that's the worst. Let's see, uh, three wrestlers who you would say inspired your character. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Rob Van Dam. Mm, one more, one more, one more. Uh, Ronda Rousey, Brock Lesnar, Ken Shamrock. Okay. Dan Severn. Oh, good. Uh, sorry for the noise. My daughter keeps throwing stuff at us. Oh, sorry about my cat. She keeps biting me. She's like, oh, those, yeah, she's one of those cats that stays attached to me. So she's just on my, my apron. Oh. We have two cats, but they're they're usually in the background, but they're not here right now. Yeah, you'll usually see them pop up. Ooh. Uh, I forgot to explain the last question. Uh, we're down to two last questions. The last question's the most important one, but we're down to the second to the last. Okay. All righty. So the first of the last two is your favorite donut. Uh, glazed chocolate. Everyone's favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glazed. Um, the last question, the most important, make the interview or break the interview. We're going to stop it here or keep it going. Are you, You're from uh, San Antonio, correct? Yeah, I was raised in San Antonio. I was born in California, though. Oh. oh. I can't know where this is going. This might change. Um, In-N-Out or Whataburger? Whataburger. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. Every day. A Californian. Same. Yeah. Uh, I was born in Fairfield, California, but I, was, I moved to San Antonio since I was like four, so I was raised here, Texas. Uh, What's your uh, go-to meal for Whataburger? Uh, I like the A1 Thick and Hearty Burger. They always take it off the menu, so I got to go with like a patty melt or something, but A1 is... The patty melt's pretty good, too. See, mm-hmm. what I used to get was the Chop House Cheddar Burger. And they oh, I like that one, too. Back. And yeah. they always bring back the uh, the A one thick and hearty burger, and I'm like, yeah. stop it! I want the chop yeah. house. But yeah, it's the awesome. A one's really good. Man. So, um, this is your first interview. Let's take it all the way back. Let's mm-hmm. find out more about Jess E. James. How did you get into wrestling? How did you uh, fall in love with him? Oh uh, well, you know, like I always followed as a little kid. Um, but growing up, I always thought I was too small to be a wrestler. So I got into martial arts also because, you know, I was small and I didn't want to get bullied and stuff. Um, but after I did a couple of MMA fights, I realized I was like, this isn't the life I want. It's too stressful, you know. And I was like, I want to do something fun. And then um, my, my my fiance was a she was a re- not a ring girl, a ring announcer for Galactic Pro Wrestling. So I went and watched her and then, you know, I started talking to people and I started training. Nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Um, how'd you find Hybrid? You just that Galactic Pro? Yeah, yeah. I talked to uh, Romy Nava. He was the general manager of Galactic Pro, and he told me to train on Hybrid. And pretty much it was like a storybook kind of thing, like a movie. Uh, <laughs> um, we have a couple fan questions. I'm going to ask one of them out of the way. Uh, what was it? What's your background in martial arts? By I mean, if I say their name, Joseph Moreno, nineteen. Cool. Um, well, I got fifteen years of Muay Thai. I started Muay Thai two thousand seven, and then um, uh, about ten years Jiu Jitsu. I started Jiu Jitsu two thousand twelve, and you know I wanted to be an MMA fighter, and I had to do stand up fighting, and then you know watching. And I was like, everyone's gonna take a ground submitted, so Jiu Jitsu is where it's at. So I kind of like evolved from there. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Also, sorry, sorry, I don't. Also done capoeira, but like about a year of that, and tai chi as well, fencing, other stuff like that. They offered in college, boxing, judo, wrestling. Oh, so uh, college, college major. Yeah, 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 college. Yeah, I was an art major in college. Oh, nice, mm-hmm. dude. Some of your uh, art is amazing. We follow your art page as well. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, this is the last one I did. I actually got on hand as the Iron Man. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, it actually shines in the light with the gold. That's dope. Our daughter's actually into um, art as well. Drawing, a drawing. lot of drawing. 
Yes, keep her. Yeah, yeah, keep her drawing and keep encouraging her. That's what my parents did. Like, oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna hang it on the fridge. And you know, they always had something on the fridge, and it always encouraged me to draw. Which, you know, it blossomed. Yeah, we got her. Uh, we actually just had to buy her new journals because she already filled up two two of them we bought for Christmas for her. Mm -hmm. And it's literally like she won't show it to us, but she'll show us some. She'll be like, mm -hmm. look, I have it here. And then I'm, we're like, oh, we could put it on the fridge. She'll close the journal like no. And <laughs> I'm like okay, all right, that's fine. Yeah. But if she wants to put something on the fridge, she'll put it on there and she'll go and tap them like, hey, did you did you see the new thing on the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, just nurture her at a young age and bring her new supplies every now and then so she could experiment and yeah, she'll be great. <laughs> great. I suck at drawing. I try when I was younger. I suck at drawing. Ooh. Uh. Another one that I want to get out of the gate because uh, I feel like it's going to be funny. Uh, Blue X Diablo. What is the BT Breakfast Club? BTT Breakfast Club. Okay, so BTT stands for Brazilian Top Team, and that's my jujitsu team. That's also my job. The Breakfast Club is uh, Tuesdays and Thursday morning classes, which is the class I teach. And Blue Diablo is one of the police officers that I teach for that class. So we got like a tight knit group called the Breakfast Club. Every time we post something, we post a Breakfast Club song, you know, don't you forget about me. It's great. Oh, yeah. It's at the ending whenever he puts his. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never seen the Breakfast Club. Oh, you got to watch it. It's good. I think I remember seeing like a episode of Victorious when I was younger, uh, mocking it. But oh yeah, yeah. It was a Saturday morning club. Is that what it was? Yeah, know. it was like Saturday Saturday morning something, or the detention club is their version of it because they can't it couldn't use the the Breakfast Club. Yeah, that's the way. So, uh, as a kid, what got you into uh, wrestling? What what what's your very earliest moment of wrestling? Oh, man. Well, also uh, watching the Mega Powers on TV as a kid, um, playing with the toys. Uh, we had the little Thumb War toys. Me and my brother always play that. When we got a little older, we did a backyard wrestling with the chums around the neighborhood, hit each other with, like, cardboard boxes and make foil belts and all that. It was fun. Jumping bushes. <laughs> and uh, with Hybrid, you've been training for two years, you said? Yeah, yeah, about two years. Mm -hmm. uh, what's been the hardest thing you had to uh, learn with hybrid? Oh, definitely uh, not to lay in the hits, like, uh, you know, kayfabe, but, you know, like, not to really, like, hurt someone with the hits because, you know, martial arts, you're, you're, you're taught to follow through, make contact, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, to hit without hitting because I always hurt people in the beginning and a lot of people didn't want to go with me because I was too stiff. And uh, what's the the happy for you in wrestling? Happy feet. Um, that's happy, like, happy, happy for you. <laughs> oh, what's happy? What, what, what makes you uh, keep doing it uh, week in week out? Oh man, the the kids. Honestly, being a hero for a day that's that's so cool to me. You know, just like growing up and like I did it. You know. Yeah, it's been like a, a real life superhero on uh on Saturday, all the kids were uh, really cheering for you, and I know it's like they'll go up to you uh, during uh, the intermission. So yeah, kids went up to you. Yeah, yeah, that makes my day, man. You know, just high fiving kids, signing autographs, taking pictures. You know, I really feel like I'm somebody, and then I always grew up watching superheroes, and I was like, I, I'm a superhero. You know, that's what I wanted to do. Who was your uh, your favorite superhero? Oh man. Wolverine and Batman, it's hard for me to choose. I like Batman's stories better, but I like Wolverine as like a character personality better. Not a big fan of Batman. No? No. He's a Superman, Superman. guy. Yeah, I love Superman too. I'm glad you said that because there's a lot of people that hate on Superman because he has everything. But Superman is just as flawed as Batman internally, and his stories are really good reads. Yeah. Should I say mine or should I just walk out of the room then? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an Aquaman kind of gal. Oh, that's awesome too. But everyone else, when I tell people that, they just look at me like, uh, okay, like they just kind of leave it alone. I'm like, but Aquaman's cool. Like, come on. Do you like blonde Aquaman or do you like Momo Aquaman? I like blonde Aquaman. Oh, okay. When they announced the release of the Aquaman movie, I was pissed. 
Yeah. I was like, why? Like, why do we got to give Jason Momoa the this whole little thing? And I was like, I love the guy, but like, he wasn't, he's not my Aquaman. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I hear you. You like uh, DC or Marvel better? Ooh. Oh, man, that's a loaded question. Uh, I, I believe DC has better reading material, but I believe Marvel has better characters. So it's give or take either way. It is a give or take. Mm -hmm. um, get off topic a little bit and uh, of wrestling, even though we were a wrestling podcast. But uh, we want, I want to talk a little bit of your major that you actually did in uh, college, which is the art. What got yeah. you into art in the first place? Um, like I like uh, drawing superheroes as a kid. My my parents always nurtured me, especially my dad, because uh, my grandma was a musician, mm -hmm. so they always like encouraged the arts and all that. Um, and then um, I wanted to when I was in college, I wanted to do something like that made a lot of money, like engineering, and it was stressing me out. And mm -hmm. I had like a midlife crisis <laughs> or early life crisis. And my dad was all like, "Why don't you just do the art thing? You know, be happy." And then so I just started to go with that. Okay, nice, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Um, so what's your dream opponents that you want to face? Wow, uh, dream opponents. Um, Rob Van Dam for sure. Uh, mm, uh, God dang. Uh, I like to watch a lot of old wrestling. Everyone that I watched growing up is old now. Um, <laughs> I would like to, I would like to, I'm sorry. I said they got a kicker too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I could bring someone back, definitely Bret Hart. I feel like we would have a, a good uh, submission grappling match. Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle could still go for sure. I think she's asking a question. <laughs> Any uh, dream opponents on the indie scene? Ooh. Um, ASF. I want to wrestle ASF. Uh, I want to wrestle Alex Arsenal. Ooh, the man of uh -huh. many belts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like 10,000 belts. 10,000 belts. He needs two suitcases uh -huh. for, for his belts, it seems like. I'll bring my jujitsu belts. There you go. <laughs> on the line. Yeah, yeah put them on the line, right? Wow. Um, we got one from another fan question. Actually, it's it's from Casey. Um, favorite moment in wrestling and your toughest opponent. Uh, my favorite moment in wrestling. Uh, right now it probably had to be the Fatal Four Way that I had with Casey, Chip Garrison, and Johnny Rocket at Mission Pro Wrestling in December. Okay. The crowd was hot. Uh, I feel like we really stole the show. We were a hot start, first match. Um, even reading the, or listening to the commentary, the commentary was kind of going off on us. I feel like my favorite match, my toughest opponent, uh, probably Khan. Oh, when did you face Khan? Yeah, I faced Khan at the Hybrid Experience uh, February? February. Yeah. Last yeah, uh, wait, they were February now, so January last month. Yeah, it was the Epico show. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was promoting that one. That, yeah, I want, I need yeah, to go back we, and see that. Yes. I don't know yeah. if they're see it on YouTube, but I need to watch that one. They haven't posted it on YouTube yet, but it should be coming up soon. I know, uh, the first one I saw you at was, um, the June show, the Trey, Trey Day, I think. Last oh, yeah, Trey Day, yeah. Uh, you took on Benny Bravo, that one was good. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I choked him out and he hit the ropes. It's yeah. Crazy. Uh, what was the other one in October? You faced. I can't remember which one was in October. The one right uh, recently in February. Was in October one? was David Kidd for the candy match. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that one. That yeah. one was awesome. Uh, the tr trick or street fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mar marvelous photographer. I think uh, had some got some good photos as well. Yeah, that one, that one, he rock bottled me in a pile of Jolly Ranchers, and that sucked. <laughs> like, everyone says Legos suck. Jolly Ranchers suck, too. Candy corn, too. Candy yeah, corn someone too. did a spot back in 
2019, I think, or 2018, um, Richie took a DDT from uh, Retro Randy onto some candy corn, and I was like, man, that looks looks painful. <laughs> uh, last month, though, was it January, right? Yeah, it was January. Uh, you, no, January, February, whichever one, you took on uh, Jet Black. Yeah. That one was really good. You, um, that arm bar, man, just comes out of nowhere. You yeah. Know, every, every position y'all had him in, you just like had an arm bar out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, props to Randy Orton with his RKO out of nowhere. I'm doing the arm bar out of nowhere. That's my my thing. Yeah. If I'm not going to get him the first time, the second time, third time, I'll get him when he's tired. Yeah. Uh, at Atlas, you took on Drew Dredd. Yes. Uh, you made your debut at yeah. Atlas Pressing Promotion. Uh, how was that, man? It was awesome. Definitely. The match came out way better than I expected. You know, like I said, the kids were into it. We got a pop. Um, you know, uh, my debut went well. I got I got uh, invited to come back. So it was great. Hopefully we'll be back, I think, uh, March 18th, 19th, no, one of those 19th, days. 19th. Think, yeah. Uh, you unfortunately took the L on that one, though. But yeah. hopefully you get the W next time. Yeah. It's, it's, um, I felt like I won, though. He tapped. Also for RCW, you are now the bodyguard. Yeah. Of um, Boom Boom Brandon Oliver. Yeah. Uh, how, how's that? Like, what? What? You're protecting him from uh, just any wrestlers, or mainly Casey Blackrose. Casey Blackrose jumped him um, when he least expected it, and it had uh, Brandon Oliver shook. You know. And uh, he came to Chris Marvel and was like, who's the, the, the toughest guy you got on the roster? He pointed at me, my experience. Nice. Well, uh, RCW is on this Sunday, mm-hmm. March 6th. Uh, hopefully you'll be there. I think we should be there. I think you're still. I'm waiting to see if my schedule comes up and I'm off because I requested it, but they haven't approved it yet. So fingers mm. crossed it gets approved. If not, you know, he'll be cheering you guys on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. I, I got it off, so I should be there. Uh, Scarlet Bordeaux is going to be there. Um, Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona. Uh, I forgot what the matches they announced. They announced the triple threat between Casey, Brandon Vice, and Khan, which that's mm. all hard hitting straight through and through. Uh, Q, uh, Mysterious Q versus Matt Cardona, which is amazing. Um, the the tag with Scarlett Bordeaux, Maddie Witkowski, Key Vibes, and Miss Michelle. Here's the cat. There's the cat. <laughs> she blends in so well. Well, is there any other shows you're going to be at coming up? Yeah, I was going to be at RCW. Um, I'm going to be at the, the next hybrid experience uh, March 12th. <laughs> Uh, the road to hybrid mania, that's what it's called. I'm also gonna be at PPW Pudo Pinche, Pinche Wrestling, uh, April 29th, I believe. 23rd, 23rd, yes, yes, thank you. Oh, and I, I, I should be making an appearance at the wrestling wrestle shop, uh, the next show at the Rolling Oaks Mall. Is that uh, the one coming up on the 12th? Yes, sir. Sweet, uh, I think we should be there. Um, I don't know what kind of it's gonna be. I think Saturday Slam, but it's before yeah, the hybrid show, so we'll be there for hybrid and for uh, that. Me too. Um, before we ask the last question, the hard hitting question, I want to ask, um, what's the future hold for you? What What do you expect to? What do you want to come out of the future? Uh, I I definitely want to wrestle in Japan. Uh huh. Do strong style. Show them my martial arts background. I feel like they'd have an appreciation for my style. Um, I definitely would like to hold a, a wrestling title in Texas, um, you know, uh, make an appearance on AEW, WWE one day, God, if God willing. Uh, you've been kind of one of my favorite wrestlers just because of the, the background you have. You can legit, like, kill someone. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because, like, I didn't like uh, Brock Lesnar when he first came back after uh, UFC, MMA, and everything. And um, after a while, I started liking him. And him, Rousey, I liked. Shayna Baszler, I think, deserves way more credit than she gets. She's, like, one of the toughest in WWE in the world, actually. And uh, your whole 
character. It's not really a character, but your whole you is just awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I like the, all the background and everything. Do you want to ask him a final question? Oh, is he ready for that final question? Oof. Okay. So, what legacy do you want to leave behind in or outside of the ring? Um, I, I really want um, to set an example for the youth uh, as a kid. Uh, the kids, they want to grow up and be a superhero. They could do it. You know, I just really want to inspire them, show them to live their dreams, you know, and um, bring joy and entertainment to everyone's lives, especially with how things are going now and day. Be the superhero. Live the dream. <laughs> Go. I like that. Um, I, is that pretty much it? I think so. Yeah, she's are being a sure? handful right now, so. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, we have the cat right here. Oh, cool. yeah, look. See, she blends in so well to the couch. It's absolutely crazy. See? Oh, look. See, another cat. There you go. She's like, oh, see, nope. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, if you want to plug anything, uh, any your shows coming media? up, your social media, uh, all the accounts, everything, if you want to do that. Yeah. Um, my social media is uh, at Black Belt Jesse James. My art page is Jesse James Jits Hero. Um, also follow my jujitsu journey. Follow Brazilian Top Team Texas. Uh, find me at uh, RCW Smoke Show. Uh, the Road to Hybrid Mania 312 and uh, PPW and Wrestle Rave Slam Slam Anniversary. I believe it's called. Ooh. Uh, one question before. One more. Right. My head would wrap right up. No, no, you got it. You got it. Don't do this. You do this. It popped in my head. I forgot it though. You do this all the time. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I guess I'll ask you another time. Jesus. It popped out my head. But uh. Cliffhanger. Yeah. Dot dot dot. Uh. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you guys.